Hello everyone, welcome again. And now we will continue our Q&A session. And today's topic is about water saturation. Okay, previously we have talked about average porosity where we did thickness weighted averaging for porosity. Now we will do more or less the same thing, but for water saturation. So this is our case. We need to calculate average oil and conat water saturation from the following measurements. So we have six samples, six cores, six measurements, and we have the thickness from each sample, and then porosity, oil saturation, and conat water saturation. So maybe they came from the same reservoir, but the properties are quite various. Okay, so we have porosity, we have different oil saturation, different conat water saturation, and, and now we need to do averaging. Okay, and how we do that? Here. First, for averaging, we should use this calculation, this approach. So it's not thickness weighted averaging, but it is porosity thickness weighted averaging. So you see here, the thickness should be multiplied by the porosity first. So it's not only thickness multiplied by this parameter, like what we have for porosity, right? Porosity multiplied by thickness directly. Here, the saturation needs to be multiplied by not only thickness, but also with porosity. So it's porosity thickness weighted average. Okay, so let's do that. It's actually quite easy. I will copy this one here. And then let's make new columns. Okay. Or this one. This one is porosity multiplied by thickness. Okay, and then this one is oil saturation multiplied by porosity and multiplied by thickness. Erase the unit. I will use star. Okay, and then the next column is for conat water saturation. SWC. Okay, so let's type in. It's one. 1.5, 1, 2, 2.1, and 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, six measurements. 1, 1.5, 1, 1, 2, 2.1, 1, and 1.1. 1 .1. And then the porosity. 10, 12, 11, 0 0.13, or it should be in fraction, okay? We need to use it in fraction, so 0 0.1, 0 0.12, and then 0 0.11, 0 0.13, and then 0 0.14, and lastly 0 0.110, or 0 0.1. And then we have also the data for oil saturation, 0 0.75, 0 0.77, 74. Now this one is 0 0.78 and then 0 0.75. Okay, and then lastly 0. Point, you can use it this Simple approach, assuming there is no gas. Okay, so 0 0.25, 0 0.23, 0 0.21, 26, 22, and 25. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to calculate the denominator first. It is the summation of porosity and thickness. 
the summation of the product of porosity and thickness from each measurement. So we can calculate like this. So it's porosity from each sample divided multiplied by the thickness from that sample. Okay, and then sum them up. Okay, because it's summation, right? Okay, so it's like this and very easy. We can just multiply oil saturation with this product. The same thing for conat water saturation. Conat water saturation multiplied by this porosity thickness product. And then I can drag this. So we have the summation of the product of porosity and thickness. And we also have the summation of the product of porosity multiplied by thickness and multiplied by water saturation. And also the summation of the product of porosity, water saturation, and conat water saturation and thickness. Okay, so SO average, I will call it SOAVG, the porosity thickness weighted average of water of oil saturation. We can easily use this number. All right, divided by this one. Okay, this one, the summation of the product of oil saturation, porosity, and thickness divided by the summation of the product of porosity and thickness. So it's 0 0.76. The same thing, we can calculate this one. I can just use one minus this, okay? That's the first approach. But if you want to confirm, we can also use this one. So this one, the summation of the product of conat water saturation, porosity, and thickness divided by the summation of the product of porosity and thickness, which is this one, okay? So the same results, right? And yeah, this is the result. So I will use Format Painter and it's like this. And yeah, if you want to express it in fraction, you, it can be like this. Or if you want to express it in percentage, so you can just multiply like this, but in percentage. Okay, so that's all. So we have learned about the averaging of oil saturation and conat water saturation by using the weighting factor from the product of porosity and thickness. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.